Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is how I Dutch braid my hair. So if you want to see how I got my hair like this, then just keep on watching. For this look, you will need hairspray. I'm using the L'Oreal L Net one. A comb to part your hair. A brush, my favourite is the Tangle Teaser. Some bobby pins. And some clear elastics. So first, I'm going to part my hair using a comb. I like to have a centre parting, but you can have yours on the side if you prefer. I start by lining up the comb with the centre of my eyebrows, then trying to part the hair as centre on as I can. Once you've parted the top of your hair, pull the comb down to the centre of your neck. This is really difficult to do on yourself, so don't worry if your part is not exactly straight. If you can, get someone to help you. Then I like to tie one side into a ponytail just to keep the hair from getting in the way of the braid I'm going to start with. You're then going to want to brush through your hair and make sure there are no knots as it's going to make braiding your hair 10 times harder for yourself if you have any tangles. Then taking the hairspray, I like to spray the roots of my hair. This is going to help keep the hair really smooth when braiding. Then I like to take a comb to smooth down any frizzy hairs. So let's get started with the first braid. I take a small section of hair in a triangle shape and comb this through to make sure it's smooth. I then use my fingers and roughly part the hair into three sections. With a Dutch braid you are passing the pieces of hair under each other rather than over like a normal braid. This is going to make the braid raised rather than lying flat on your head. So you have the outer piece of hair and the inner piece of hair. You're going to start by taking the outer piece of hair and crossing it under the middle piece of hair. Then taking the inner piece of hair and crossing this under the new middle piece of hair. Then you're going to grab a small section of hair and add this to the outer strand and then cross it under the middle piece of hair. Then you're going to grab a piece of hair from the top of your head and add this to the inner piece of hair and cross it under the middle piece. You're going to repeat this again. Take a small piece of hair and add this to the outer piece of hair and cross it under the middle piece of hair. Grab a piece of hair from the top of your head, add it to the inner strand and cross it under the middle piece of hair. So you are only ever adding hair to the outer and the inner strand, never the middle. You also want to make sure you're gripping the hair as tight as you can and with each crossover you're tightening the hair. This will prevent the sides of the braid from becoming loose and messy, meaning you'll have to add more bobby pins. You can see I'm using my thumb to section off a piece of hair to add into my braid. This is going to give you those defined lines of hair leading into your braid. At the end you'll see what I mean. The 
further you get down your hair, the more hair you're going to want to add. Start picking up larger sections of hair to add into each section of your braid. And this is what I mean when I say to brush your hair properly as it can get tangled really easily. When you get to the back you want to make sure that 3 quarters of the way down you want to have almost picked up all the loose hair. If you add in the hair at the bottom of your neck too late you will get this horrible sagging piece of hair by your parting. So make sure by the time you've hit the bottom of your head that there is no hair left to add. Then pull the hair back to the front and continue your braid. You can also see here what I mean by using your thumb to section the hair gives these really nice defined lines of hair leading into the braid. Then using an elastic I just secure the braid in place. And there you have one braid finished. Moving on to the next one, you're going to do the same thing, brush through the hair, section off a small triangle, part the hair into three pieces using your fingers. Then cross the outer piece of hair under the middle piece of hair, then the inner piece of hair under the new middle piece of hair. Pick up a small section of hair, add it to the outer piece and cross it under the middle piece. And again just continue this all the way down to the back of your head. It is up to you what angle you want your braids going in. You can bring them lower down or higher up, it totally depends on what you like. Mine just always tend to go quite high up, but I do suggest if you are just starting, try and do your braids lower down. This way it's easier to keep the hair tighter, as I do find with this way, if you don't keep it tight enough, the sides can become a bit loose as the hair is being pulled up so high. But like I said, it's totally personal preference to so do your braids however you think suits you best. So again I'm pulling the hair to the front to continue the braid and then I'm going to secure it with a clear elastic. If you have darker hair you might want to use a brown or black elastic as it will be less noticeable. I'm just taking some hairspray to keep everything in place and smooth any frizzy bits. Then I'm just tugging on the braid to make it a bit thicker at the top so it doesn't sit quite so flat. Everyone's braids are going to look different. I have quite thick hair so my braids are obviously going to be quite big. 
So if you do have thinner hair and you want it to be thicker in places, you can use this technique. Then if you have any pieces you're not happy with, just take a bobby pin and smooth them out and obviously make sure you hide the clip under the braid so that it's not noticeable. So that's it for this video, this is how I dutch braid my hair, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you learnt how to do it on yourself. It's quite difficult at first but I promise that the more you practice the better you'll get. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.